some of the stuff for sure. I wasn't looking forward, so I wasn't there for the most yeah. part, but he did some of the stuff. Yeah. yeah. You usually know whose hands are back there, don't you? And that's tough to tell, you know? It's tough to, that's a weird question, Bob. That's a weird question. <laughs> Sorry. Um, do, do you feel good Austin will be ready? I mean, I know you're not I know one thing. He's, he's going to be in the training room treating himself as hard as possible, and I wouldn't hold him back. I think he's shown to you guys how tough some of them is, so. We'll see. That had to be a tough flight home on Saturday. Just talk about that a little bit. And, and you know, yeah. how y'all been this week? It's extremely disappointing. Um, don't really want to reflect on the past as much, but definitely not the way we wanted it to be. But I think definitely Sunday was a down day. But the way the guys came out today and our practice day is really encouraging. It was a good practice today. Um, you guys, you know, South Carolina did a pretty good job against your all's run offense. Alabama is the number one rushing defense in the country. I think about 73 yards a game. Just how big a challenge is to try to run on these guys? It's always been a challenge my whole career, and I think I'm just trying to emphasize the physicality and just know it's going to be a war. It's going to be four quarters and just got to be ready to go every single rep. Frank, they got a, a lot of really talented players up front, and Ron Payne particularly at nose guard. What have you seen out of him and the whole group? He's a combination of power and speed. Uh, they're all so well coached, so good with their hands, so good with their technique, really good at anchoring. So hats off to their coach because they're all really, it's not just freak athletes, it's guys who are coached really well. Is it frustrating for you guys as an offensive line with there's still so much shuffling going on? Is it hard to get some continued chemistry going? Well, it's obviously not as good as having five guys at the same time, no matter what, but I think it's not terribly because with offensive line, it's more not just five guys meshing, it's the whole line room meshing and knowing that anybody can step up. And when we do individual drills, there's a lot of guys stepping in. It's like right guard, get this rep. So there's not really names, it's more positions. In fact, y'all scored 30 points. I mean, I know it's a different year, uh-huh. it's a different team. You got to play there. But in fact, y'all scored 30 points on last year. I think Austin's from like 400 yards. Does that, does that give you guys some, some to you know think about you know, some positive stuff? I think it gives us optimism, but uh, it's a new year. And you know, that coaching staff, Coach Saban, all of them are going to be preparing and seeing what went wrong there. So I think uh, it's time to focus on this Saturday and not really reflect on that part. Do you feel good that you guys can, can run the ball on them? I mean, it's hard as, as it probably is going to be. Yeah, I feel like we execute. We decide in our mind that we got to be physical and play the way we're supposed to play. We can't have a chance. As D-line challenges go, where does Alabama rank in terms of D-line? They're number one. Uh, and they've uh, kind of always been. They've uh, they produce position after position after position freak shows that are not. And hats off to them. Like I said earlier, they're freak shows that are really well coached. So hats off to their coaching staff. How do you guys kind of bounce back from the disappointment of South Carolina and get ready to have another tough task against Alabama and go out there and uh, farewell? Well, uh, you use the fuel. You uh, use the fuel. You and uh, you realize that there's not many people giving a shot. So internally, we got to rally and know that it's going to be a four quarter war. You guys even paid attention. I think the point spread I saw, not that I bet or anything. Yeah, I'm not the much 30 better points. Uh, does, does that, is that something that motivates you guys? Or? I didn't even know about yeah. that. So, I mean, yeah, I guess it's you use whatever you can on the outside world, but you kind of try to close it off. But I think they were 20 point favorites over the Aggies, and the Aggies were right there with them. So. Uh, and I'm not a gambler, so I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the fact that you guys. Um, you know, obviously went to overtime with A&M and had a shot to beat them, and A&M played Alabama tough. I know it can be tough to compare scores, but is that something you can take, you know, into this game? I think that's something as an outside world you can look at and everything like that. But the thing is, each week of Saturdays, it's a whole new, it's a whole new war. Anybody can beat anybody. We've seen it in the college for world, football world all the time. So you just got to, yeah, it's encouraging seeing how A&M played versus them and how we played versus them. But you can't really think, oh, they played them well, so we should play them well. You talk about the outside world. How do y'all block some of that stuff out that, uh, you know, has been said? Well, I, I think it's impossible to block it all out. I think, I mean, even if you say you're blocking it all out, you're not blocking it all out. So I think me personally try to use it as fuel and try to not, like, say that you guys are haters or anything, but just prove the naysayers and everything like that wrong. What do you think the key teaching points from the South Carolina game were for the front? For the old line? Yeah. Physical. Physical and uh, there are some things assignment-wise that we miss, messed up and everything like that. But physical, man, and you're playing offensive line for Brett Bielema, and you just got to be physical. You got to crawl, crawl, and you got to take pride in it, man. I'm trying to this week. I'm really trying to emphasize to every 
all the all four other guys is, man, it's got to be physical. Be, refuse to get beat. Scratch, claw, no matter what. Most physical. I, I want to be the most physical five out there.